Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Buzz interview. I am here joined by Ms. Lucy Wang, the co-founder and CMO of Lambda. Welcome. Thank you, and I'm also very happy to be here. <laughs> so starting off, Lambda, what is it? Yeah, Lambda is a decentralized storage project, mm -hmm. and uh, we provide uh, the uh, decentralized storage capabilities for all the dApps and also the traditional enterprises, um, a, a secure, fast, and reliable uh, storage network. So storage, you mean like a USB? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, why, that's my understanding of storage. Uh, yeah, actually storage is in the very bottom layer of uh, uh, data store, storing. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, for example, database is one kind of uh, uh, product on top of storage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, you can uh, think of like uh, Amazon S3 uh, mm -hmm. as a storage, but it's a centralized storage. Like yeah. Google Drive. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So, but then how is blockchain technology used? I mean storage system now it's a pretty decent market all the infrastructures are pretty concrete mm -hmm. now is there any are there any efficiencies when it comes to implementing blockchain technology or any benefits mm -hmm. implementing blockchain technology into the field of data storage yeah instead of saying efficiency i would like to say um, more secure and reliable mm -hmm. because um, um, uh, normally, uh, for nowadays, we use the centralized uh, storage providers who mm -hmm. could dictate the price and uh, the terms of services. Uh, and uh, the data privacy uh, has not secured because uh, as long as you are uh, controlling the, the data uh, ownership, uh, there will be you know, high risk of being stolen, leaked, or mm -hmm. hacked, or also manipulated by the centralized nodes. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. So uh, in this, uh, so blockchain provides a, a, a best opportunity uh, to run the decentralized storage on top of that, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, it is uh, the nature of the P2P structure um, means a permissionless environment. So what we need to address are two critical things. So one is the data integrity mm -hmm. check, and the other is the storage proof mm -hmm. verification, uh, which means uh, we need to uh, secure that the unknown node on this permissionless network doing exactly uh, what customers are Whether they're keeping requesting. their promises, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And what about the uh, the storage part? Uh, the storage part uh, in Lambda, we separate the storage system from the uh, the blockchain based uh, consensus network where the storage proof verification result is reached. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now the network system or the network infrastructure of Lambda was pretty difficult for me to understand. Understand. <laughs> so uh, yeah. from what I've heard, let hear this out. So uh, there is a main chain which mm -hmm. is. Uh, uh, product produced by uh, uh -huh. Lambda or managed by Lambda uh -huh. and there are work chains which are managed by third parties or nodes mm -hmm. and all the work chains are sharded into data parts which mm -hmm. will be calculated or provi provided or mined by the nodes themselves is that correct yeah correct your mm -hmm. understanding is correct and yeah. that was really difficult difficult for me to understand so could you mm -hmm. explain it a little bit easier um, yeah, actually, um, we we separate the storage uh, the storage system from the from the uh, consensus network, and on our main network, uh, you can create uh, any you know uh, business logic uh, network on top of our main network. Mm -hmm. That's what you mentioned about the sub chain technology we are providing. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can also uh, offer offer your uh, coins mm -hmm. um, on top of a Lambda network. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's the capability of a public chain. So we also have that. But on top of a public chain's capability, we also have the storage system mm -hmm. so that the data can be stored mm -hmm. uh, on the storage uh, system. When it comes to blockchain-based file storage, uh, mm -hmm. there are a number of competitors such as uh, yeah. Filecoin or StoreJ. What is the competitive advantage that Lambda has over other these incumbent competitors? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, of all the decentralized storage uh, projects, we have, uh, like you mentioned, this, uh, StoreJ and also Sia mm -hmm. uh, and Filecoin. But uh, Sia is already obsolete and uh, uh, Filecoin, uh, StoreJ uh, actually is a centralized uh, distributed storage project. Mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, which leaves the uh, Filecoin and the Lambda as the uh, you know the key competitive players in the market. Mm -hmm. um, and for Filecoin, uh, they use the 
Actually, both Filecoin and Lambda, we use the same consensus algorithm, which is the proof of uh, space and time. Uh, Sounds like meaning, science theory. Yeah, meaning <laughs> how, how long and to, for what data uh, oh, okay. yeah, uh, the, 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 the storage miners should store for customers. Mm -hmm. um, the, so the consensus algorithm are the same, but Filecoin uses the whole storage network to provide the, the certificate uh, not uh, the verification result mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, to the uh, uh, storage proof, but it will you know exponentially increases the difficulty of technical implementation and mm -hmm. also the performance of the network is low because all the storage miners they have two responsibilities. Uh, they not only need to provide the storage challenges mm -hmm. and the storage proof. They so they do they do both. So they have to provide they, the service storage as well yeah. as they have to verify the information. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that will make make them no time and bandwidth yeah. to more more work. Up, I mean, slow network, right? Yeah, to store or store the files. Mm -hmm. So the performance is really low. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lambda's idea is to, um, like I said, we we separate these uh, you know storage system and the consensus network, and we create the validator row mm -hmm. um, and they are running on the consensus network and we created like 1024 um, validator uh, validators and uh, they are randomly selected and uh, promoted from the top storage miners mm -hmm. um, through the VRF mechanism and then we use the by then time tolerance, uh, you know, mm -hmm. this... Uh, uh, the BFT, Yeah, yeah the, the BFT, yeah. Uh, so we use a BFT to reach the, uh, the verification result to the storage. Is there like yeah. a specific reason behind the 1,024 validators or was it just a random number? Uh, not a random number. We, uh, we, we did a lot of uh, research, so it's very technical, but yeah, maybe I, I can't give a very clear <laughs> clarification, but yeah, it's not a randomly number, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, while I would love to get into the tech part, mm -hmm. uh, I'd, I'd like to drive the conversation to a little bit of the business or the benefits aspect uh -huh. of uh -huh. the project. So uh -huh. uh, how would the aforementioned mention the storage solution like via blockchain enrich mm -hmm. the lives of users as well as enterprises and companies when, it, when they decide to implement Lambda storage sol solutions? Uh, yeah, the benefit is, uh, so I think uh, uh, from two, two sides. So one is uh, the customers, they can choose the services provider they, they want or mm -hmm. they like, and also can choose the prices mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they see fit. Mm -hmm. So the price is not dictated by the, uh, some business giant. Mm -hmm. um, you, you just can choose the select the, the, the one, just like the Airbnb. It's mm -hmm. just the, 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 the house is not a real house. It's just the, the data, <laughs> you know, space. Yes. Yeah, the storage space. So. Yeah, so that that's easy. So that's for one side, and the other side is uh, uh, for those who contribute uh, something. So so something here means maybe it's a storage space, mm -hmm. and also maybe you are providing the verification service, because verification service also have a price that customers can choose to pu purchase according to their um, the level of uh, importance of data, mm -hmm. and also. Um, uh, all those contributors can get rewarded by LAMP token. So that is, uh, uh, matches the, our vision, which is uh, return the value of data to data owner. So from the yeah. perspective of users, uh, when there's a main chain run by Lambda, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be work chains and the users can choose between these work chains. So mm -hmm. like work chain A that gives me a good price, but uh, they're very uh, ins unsecure, um, but chain B gives me high mm -hmm. price, but it's very secure, something like that. They can choose mm -hmm. between the reputation. Actually, you can take uh, our marketplace as one work chain mm -hmm. on top of uh, Lambda's net, uh, main network, because um, one, uh, one work chain refers to one business uh, logic or mm -hmm. business process. So for marketplace, it's a place where uh, storage-related services can be traded. Mm -hmm. So that's one work chain. And any other projects who has a business uh, requirements or logic, they can build this uh, work chain on top of Lambda. So I pay about 20 somewhat dollars for my iCloud storage. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. will, will my storage get cheaper? When Lambda comes 
get comes I to the main so, public. I think so, but I can't tell you exactly <laughs> because, like I said, we don't dictate the the price. So mm -hmm. the market will tell you the price, and the customer has the the right to choose the the price. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wouldn't have to resort to Apple anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that. So uh, moving on to the reward system, which you mentioned briefly. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure that the storage provider or the validators will be uh, rewarded by the network and you customers will pay the LAM yeah. tokens to get the services going. But then, would you care to ex explain about the whole process of the ecosystem behind mm -hmm. LAM token mm -hmm. when it comes to data storage? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, if you want to, uh, if you are interested to become uh, the, a miner of Lambda, mm -hmm. so firstly you need to pledge a certain amount of a Lambda token, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can do business on. Is, is Lambda pledging network. giving out or just borrowing or like staking? Uh, it, like staking, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, that stakes for your rights to be a miner, and uh, the the token will be like locked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, locked. And uh, when you are decided to like quit the the, the, the business, I mean I'm the be, miner, sure you the can bag, get right? your yeah, <laughs> you can no get worries. your lam, no worries, you can get your lamb tokens back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And users will based on the services that I might provide, users will mm -hmm. give me lamb token and mm -hmm. I I pro yeah. profit off that. According to the services you are providing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the Q1 of 2019 is scheduled for big things when it comes mm -hmm. to Lambda because the testnet is scheduled to be launched, uh, I heard, in two weeks or three weeks. Right. So uh, could you tell us a bit about the testnet launch as well as uh, the mm -hmm. upcoming events? Uh, yeah, actually we are distributing the source code for testnet right now. Uh, it's in batches. Uh, and the testnet is expected to be launched in two weeks, like mm -hmm. you said. So before the Chinese New Year, which is the uh, the very beginning of uh, uh, February, yes. uh, we will do uh, like um, you know campaigns. Um, mm -hmm. And after the Chinese New Year, we we'll, we will also follow up with uh, a series of uh, you know promotions mm -hmm. because yeah, to welcome our testnet launch. So finishing up on the interview, would you care to give your comments to our mm -hmm. Korean viewers to pay attention? to Lambda project mm -hmm. as its testnet gets launched? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, so for Lambda uh, token or let's say Lambda currency, uh, not like other most of other projects, we are not only just a token on exchanges, um, although we are already listed on uh, several exchanges like uh, Huobi Global, uh, Bitmax, ABCC, Bbox, etc. And we are now looking at more uh, Korean local exchanges right now. Uh, my, I mean, on top of that, Lambda token uh, also is, uh, you know, a currency because there is a, a solid network where uh, there's users, um, they contribute on this network and they earn Lambda token and they, uh, and the customers, um, they, they use uh, the services and pay Lambda token. So our, so the value of Lambda token are you know, actually is actually supported by this network. So we have, uh, so it's um, it's really uh, uh, a valuable token. You you should hold for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Hodl, that is the like the sentiment behind cryptocurrency industry, mm -hmm. right? So uh, thank you so much for your time. That's all the question we have today. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Miss Lucy Wang, the co-founder and CMO of Lambda.